today I'm going to be making um, English toffee. So it's like a heat bar. I don't know if some of you guys like heat bars. Um, it's from England, obviously, and uh, it was first mentioned in 1825 um, in an Oxford dictionary. Um, and uh, there's only like five basic ingredients, so it's really easy to make, even though it kind of sounds intimidating because it's like candy. I don't know. Um, anyway, so the first thing that you want to do is um, oh, okay. um, start with melted butter. And I'm just showing you guys like a smaller recipe kind of, so I'm just using a half a cup of butter. And I put it in the microwave because it melt faster. So, yeah. But. So then um, after that, you would put half a cup of sugar in it. So, um, okay. I already have everything kind of measured out. Um, okay, so you would put it on, uh, is this the front? Yeah. No. Okay. You would put it on medium heat and then um, kind of mix those two things together um, in a pot and it doesn't kind of it doesn't matter what kind of pot you use um, yeah so you just mix that and you can gradually like turn it down and turn it up but you want to be constantly mixing it um, so it doesn't burn at the bottom and then you're also going to want to add um, sorry I'm being awful uh, two tablespoons two tablespoons this is a teaspoon uh, two teaspoons water um, just so it's not too thick of a mixture, because, um, yeah. Uh, okay, you can also, um, like, change the consistency, like the thickness or whatever, um, of the toffee by uh, adding, like, marshmallows or, um, like, molasses, some people use, um, just kind of to kind of change the texture of it and make it thicker. Um, this is, and then you're just going to want to add... A fourth a teaspoon of salt. Um, it's kind of ridiculous sounding to be so small, but I don't know. I think it tastes better because. Um, and so you can also add like other flavorings, like um, uh, like mint, or you can put like coffee kind of in it um, instead of water, I guess, to kind of change the flavor. Um, and kind of takes a while. Um, to, uh, it needs to come to a boil, and then once that happens, it'll kind of turn into a froth, and then it'll, um, kind of turn, like, brownish, kind of, which sounds gross, but, um, yeah, that's gonna take a while to stir this. Um, this is really good for, like, over the holidays, if you have, like, guests coming, or if you want to send out some, that's a good idea. Um, I made it with my mom one time, and that was our intention. We ate it all before we could send it out, though, so, um, yeah, no. Um, um, yep, you can also just, like, put it in a bag. You can put it in, like, the fridge or the freezer, because, kind of, if you want it, like, throughout, whatever. But this takes a really long time to make. Um, okay, uh, yep, oh. syrup in it as well and um, you just want to get it to 350 degrees roughly um, it's not that important now because it's such a small amount that I'm not really gonna make anything out of it um, but this is basically what you do I actually like tripled the recipe from this I guess because I had some over here that's normal um, and uh, yeah so this is eventually maybe gonna boil um, oh boy. okay uh, so Oh, okay, it's boiling, kind of. Um, so it'll kind of, yeah, okay, there we go. Now it's kind of boiling. And it'll kind of turn into a froth, and then it'll kind of turn goldeny brown. Um, eh, so, yeah, that's kind of that. Um, so, it's water. Um, so what it'll kind of turn out like, um, it's, this looks kind of weird, but it'll kind of look like this, except darker. Um, so... Uh, and then, normally when you put it out,
out on the pan, you just kind of dump it onto the pan, and it can take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how, on how much you make. Um, you can just pour it into the pan, and then once it kind of hardens on the top, but it still will be warm, you can put chocolate chips on the top, and it'll just kind of melt over, and you just kind of um, wipe them across, I guess you could say. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory, and you can add like flavoring into that, and then you can also put nuts, but I wasn't sure if people had allergies, so I didn't put nuts. Um, but this is kind of the what it should look like at the end, kind of. Um, and it's hard, and yep. That. So today I've taught you how to make toffee, and some of the good reasons why.